Great dogs are everywhere. As long as you're committed, you can teach virtually any dog anything. We're driving the Fiesta to Animal Rescue New Orleans, and we are going to see if we can work with a dog, just straight up. We're just gonna pick a dog and see if we can teach him or her some cool stuff. Part of teaching a dog is having that initial existing communication with them so that you can like really break through to them. And that's what we're gonna focus on establishing today. My goal is to show you how easy it can be to teach a dog that's never had any training at all or minimal training. Right now we're here at the shelter. We're gonna go uh, pick out a dog and see what we can do. Fingers crossed, it'll be fun. This is always an adventure, come on. They just want interaction, that's really all they want. Look at this one. What's this dog's name? Starsky. Starsky, okay. Oh boy. We're gonna work with Starsky and see if we can get him to do some basic stuff. Uh, the first thing to do is to let your dog acclimate to an environment. You don't just wanna throw them into an area and then expect them to just magically do well. It's important to be very understanding that our dogs need to adjust. The same is really true with us too as people. We have to adjust to new surroundings when we go to a new place as well. I've never met Starsky before, so I'm gonna try and introduce myself. I'm gonna offer my hand, let him check me out. I like to lure them into various positions just to get them comfortable with working. Look at this. Yes, very good. I'm saying yes to let them know that I like that behavior. Look at this. Very good. He's almost lying down. Did you see his foot go like that? That was really good. Lie down. You are so smart. Can I have your paw? Look at this. Sit. Very nice. What do you think about watch me? Let's see if we can get him to look at us. Look at me, very good. Now, obviously, whenever you're working with a dog that you don't know, you don't wanna just crowd their space. You wanna be very smart and cautious about that, but he's showing no signs of being uncomfortable by eye contact. Uh, in fact, he seems to favor it. Look at me, very good, that's nice. Or just because dogs can't talk doesn't mean they can't communicate with us. He's a very telling example of that, isn't he? Get it. Up, good, down, good, back up, come on, yes, can I have your foot? <laughs> Look at that, that's fantastic. He's a bright dog. Do you have a, a more hyper dog maybe? But so often dogs like this are misunderstood because all people see is a high energy dog who wants to do stuff and we as people tend to get really annoyed by that. But honestly, you should look at the glass half full. Dogs like this are the most teachable in the world. So my goal right now with Bill is to just see if I can get him playing. Yes, he grabbed that right away. Notice how they lose interest though the moment a human being stops playing with it. They just let go of it. They're not interested anymore. Remember, dogs like to engage people. They like to work with us. Uh, the way to introduce a toy is to make it fun and interesting. Tug of war is the foundation of teaching a dog how to play fetch. It's, it can be used as a currency because this is fun for him. You can hear that, that's a play growl you hear right there. We're gonna see if we can get Archie maybe interested in a ball. I don't know, I've never met Archie. We wanna find out what makes him tick. We wanna find out what his currency is. What is this? Okay. Yes, what is that? A great way to get your dog interested in a toy is to play keep away with it too. Let them think they can get it, but then keep it from them. Yeah, good job. Good dog. And right there, he picked it up, but I'm not gonna insist that he picks it up and bring it to me right off the bat. I just wanna let him know I like that. Hello, hello. It is nice to meet you. You are a beautiful puppy, you know that? You're a good looking dog. Sit, stay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice work. I'm gonna see if I can get him to come to me when I call him. After all, that's a very important skill that all dogs need to know. That is the opposite of come, Archie. Archie, hey! Come on, let's go. The key to getting a dog to come to you is to be exciting and to have a good currency. In this case, I'm using real meat. So let's try sit, stay, and come. Sit, good, stay. Come on, let's go, yes. Very good, that's how it starts. It's really that simple. So this is Kaya. Kaya is the longest resident here at Animal Rescue New Orleans. And she's been here four and a half years. We're gonna see if we can work with her on proper walking on a leash without pulling. You know, so many people get discouraged because their dogs pull on a leash. Remember, dogs pull on a leash because they just walk faster than we do. So we should be empathetic and understanding to that point. But we wanna motivate them to listen. So let's give it a shot. Part of the secret to teaching a dog to walk well on a leash is to keep them guessing. You have to have them check in with you to see where the walk is headed. This way, come on, girl. Yes! Come on. Yes. 
this. So we're walking, sit, look at that, sit the first time. Come on this way, let's go. So we're gonna continue to walk with her. I mean, you can see how attentive she is. If you show a dog that you're willing to work with them, that you're willing to spend time with them, that you're willing to pay them with their currency to learn new things, uh, they'll be your best friend. They really will. Come on, girl. You're terrific. Yes, what a good girl. We're gonna pick up the pace. We're gonna go over here. Will you lie down? Look at that. This is a trained dog sitting in a shelter right now. If you can't adopt a dog, you can volunteer your time. You can make a donation. You can check the description of this video and there'll be information on how you can donate to Arno here. I think they're a first class organization and they need all the help they can get here. Do you guys have a rescue dog or do you know someone with a rescue dog? Do you have a good experience with a rescue dog? Tell me in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click thumbs up and thank you to Ford. Ford has agreed to make a $500 donation to Arno as well, so thank you very much for thumbs up to them for supporting rescue dogs okay guys we'll see you in the next video